I first started my photography business, I became extraordinarily frustrated when it came to posing guys, and I didn't really understand why. But even more specifically, when it came to posing grooms on their wedding day. Not only were they extraordinarily excited, but they're also a little nervous to get married to their bride, and chances are they're wearing a new suit and or a new tux. So this kind of complicated how they were feeling about themselves in general. So I think what helped change my perspective was I said, if I have an action plan, it'll help me kind of just walk in and be a little bit more comfortable and create the type of environment that I want in order to get the photos that I want. So my main three priorities are to make sure that one, the groom looks handsome and this is usually achieved when he is comfortable and relaxed. Two, I wanna make sure that he's having a good time. And three, I want to make him look and or feel like he just walked out of a magazine. Now, instead of me talking about how I do this, I have recent footage from a shoot that I would love to show how we actually had these ideas come to life when I worked with a recent groom. In addition to getting just portraits of him, of Mike, or of the groom in this situation, what I want to do is have him just in a pose, but I also want him to move into a pose. So I'll have him um, just kind of standing, and then what I'll always do is kind of make him adjust his tie or his coat, move his hands in his pocket, move his feet, shift his weight from side to side. That was five tips in a really short amount of time that could all capture a very different look for the groom, as well as if I'm shooting and my second shooter, which is JD today, is shooting. We're getting maybe five to ten even different looks within a really uh, short amount of time. For those of you who might be a little bit more interested in my camera settings, like my shutter speed and my aperture, here's a little bit more information about my camera setup for this particular shoot. Okay, so as he's getting styled, I am at uh, f1.8. 1,000th of a second and 160 ISO. Um, for those who might be wondering, I am 100% auto white balance. These will be edited in Lightroom after, and so far when I'm shooting in beautiful light like this with great reflected light, um, Canon 5D Mark II has great auto white balance, and I'm always okay with that. If a groom is wearing a cool pair of cufflinks or an awesome pair of shoes, we're making sure that we're getting these shots individually. So we're stylizing them as he's preparing to get ready for the wedding day. But also when the groom is wearing them, because then we have a diversified portfolio. We have static images of what they look like, and then we actually have the groom in his really cool shoes or donning his really personalized cufflinks. So making sure that you get both those options is going to be beneficial in the long run. So what I'll have you do as you're leaning, can you, um, Go down, look down and um, button. You can release both your hands and button your coat. Great. That's nice. That's great. Great, so what I want you to do here is I want you to get your tie and I want you to look at my camera as if you're looking into a mirror. So kind of give me like the, you're looking into a mirror face. Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, for now. For now, because it's a better angle for me. Nice. And then look down, look down, yeah. Good. Can you bring your feet a little tiny bit closer? Nice. Together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Together. Finding great light is going to be one of the easiest ways to achieve the types of portraits that you want when it comes to posing a groom. In the next clip I'm about to show you, um, he was the groom was standing in one particular spot. I had him take a couple steps back and I ended up liking the way that light worked better because yes, he was indoors, but he was illuminated by natural light. So we got a mix of both lights, which I think actually had a little bit more of an editorial appeal. Okay, so what I did, yeah, I know. So what I did is I moved Mike from being on the outside where I had a lot of broken light and I had these door frames in the background and it just wasn't the right look. So I'm gonna shoot him now, uh, omitting these frames around him and just getting a nice, a nice half body shot. Church will be in the background. I have to change my settings just a tiny bit. That's great. My ISO was at 160, I'm gonna move my ISO to 200 because he was indoors it's nice it's great great this is perfect i hope this offers a little bit of insight into what i do and how i do it when it comes to posing a groom if you'd like to see more behind the scenes footage of me posing a bridegroom and or shooting a wedding feel free to check out jasminestarstore.com i hope you're having a beautiful day stay fabulous